all around you, people are solving hard coding challenges. Yes. Creating operating systems just for Tetris. Yeah, so actually all x86 processors boot in legacy mode for backwards compatibility reasons. And coding spinning donuts. Here on the left is a spinning ASCII donut, and on the right is a donut shaped C code by Andy Sloan. You try and code one of these cool projects, but just stare at the screen with the Hello World program staring back at you. You just started to learn how to code, and all of these things seem so far away. You get demotivated and start to think coding is not for you. In this video, I want to go over how coding is for you and how to stay motivated when learning how to code. My name is Bradley Allen, and on this channel, we focus on computer science topics with the main purpose of making you more knowledgeable. Let's get into the video. There are a lot of people out there that will wait for the perfect condition to start programming and learning. But in reality, if you wait for the perfect moment, there is a chance that that moment will never come. Many people spend their whole lives waiting for that perfect moment and never ever get a chance to start what they really wanna do. And all that happens is time. Time goes by and there's a chance that they will never use that time to achieve their goals. The sad reality is that there is no motivation that will keep you going when things start to not work. You wanting to achieve that result should be the main motivation. There are no shortcuts for things that bring you success, money, and knowledge, and coding and programming is one of those things. Now that I've told you the truth of the matter and you still want some quick motivation, I got some tips for you guys. When learning to code, having a concrete goal or reason when you start is very powerful. When your code starts to have bugs and things start to not work, having that reason of knowing why you're even coding in the first place will bring you a very long way. This reason and goal can boost your motivation just a little bit that can get you to achieve your goals and, and make progress towards your goal of learning to code. This is true for other areas of life as well. So you may be asking, what kind of goals should I be having for while learning to code? Some examples of goals that you can have while learning to code can be landing a job as a software engineer or any other job at hand, such as data analysts, web developer. Having that goal or mental map in your mind that you're gonna try to make money out of coding can boost your motivation when learning to code. Another goal is passing a class. If you're in college or school and you need to get that pass or that A or that C to pass that class, Having that goal when doing the items or things that you have to do can help you boost your mood and motivation. Ranking higher in competitive programming can also bring people a lot of joy. There are a lot of people who get addicted to competitive programming and they take it to the next level and become red coders and top coders. Building a project can help you learn the things that you need to learn to get that project up and running and live. One of the major problems while learning to code is people just go through, learn a language, and never use that language to make something or build something. These are just some of the goals that I've seen people have, but the main important part about having the goal is that it's important to you and not anybody else. Knowing that you have that goal in the back of your mind will keep you pushing and keep you learning and improving every day towards achieving that goal or result. When you say I am learning to code, it's very broad and it's hard to have a mental map of what you're actually doing. If you say I'm just learning to code, all I think about is some HTML file with classes and divs. Knowing exactly why you are coding and what the languages and technologies that you are going to learn is very important when learning how to program and code. That reasoning and knowing the in-depth intricacies about your language or technology stack creates this mental bridge to wanting to do something and actually doing it. Try and pick a specific area in programming that interests you and start learning and doing some projects in that area. This will bring more satisfaction while coding and learning itself. Learning to code does not replace actually coding on a keyboard and making projects. After you watch a bunch of YouTube videos and tutorials on how to code and how to do X, Y, Z, you need to take that knowledge yourself and go and apply it 
This will make you feel as if you know something and it will also increase your knowledge and boost your overall confidence that you can actually do the thing that you were learning about. After watching a tutorial or learning a new topic, implement it right after that. This will lead to higher satisfaction and boost motivation when learning to code. Some additional secret advanced tips that I've come to find out over my years of programming are these. Wear a hoodie when programming to make yourself feel like a hacker and you know, start getting into the zone. Having a hoodie or some sort of, of jacket or cozy attire can help you just get down, sink in and learn something. This has helped me whenever I started learning to code and it helps me sit down for longer points at a time. Another tip is have music. So any type of headphones or music while you're coding like lo-fi or beats to chill with can help you sit down and be at the computer for longer periods of time. What I found is a lot of people have a hard time sitting down at the computer and learning the things without getting distracted or wanting to do other things. Making that time where you sit at the computer actually enjoyable can help boost your productivity and get you at the computer for longer. Having a candle such as this while you're learning can improve your overall smell and just have a better time learning to code. Another tip is that having a actual book in hand can help you if you're a physical learner and like to write things down. And I have this book here. I used it when I first started to learn C++ and it helped me a lot. Being on the website and going to Chrome, trying to do all the learning on the browser, you can get distracted by watching some YouTube video or going on some website and having an actual book in hand can help you a lot when you're trying to sit down and learn something. Another aspect or tip that I can tell you guys is to get some sort of exercise daily. Exercising daily can help you boost your overall mood and make you feel like you can do things that you once thought you couldn't when you didn't exercise. Think of this as a cup of coffee, but for your body. Another tip that I can tell you guys is to have some coffee. Having some coffee can boost your mood and motivation and help you achieve the things that you thought were hard at an easier rate. I like to schedule my coffee intake around things that I have to get done with coding and programming because it just helps me be more effective when sitting at the computer. Having coffee, exercising daily, sitting down and just doing the actual work will all boost your motivation when learning to program. And when it comes down to it, just sitting at the computer or laptop and doing the action, which is the hardest thing, will bring you the most effectiveness and productivity and bring you to closer to your goals of learning to code and program. So guys, if you learned something new, like the video, comment down below some of the different motivation techniques that you use and subscribe. I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.